Welcome to this video. My name is Rajveer, founder of Code and Compile, and in this video, I'm going to walk through your Code and Compile e-learning website. So if you're planning to join a course on Code and Compile, please watch this video before you join the course because this is what you need. This is the turning point. This is the decision maker. So you will get to know what is inside the e-learning website, what you're going to learn, how it's going to be. So let's watch this video together and I'm going to show you why Code and Compile could be a best platform for you. So our e-learning platform is built on three pillars, learning experience, school community and instructor support. So let's talk about the learning experience first, what you're going to learn here and how it's going to be when you are joining a course. So I'm going to walk through you the video tutorials, how you can access the course, and I'm going to show you our exclusive Wikipedia. So let's begin with the video tutorials. So step one is if you're not signed in, you will see an option here, sign up, and you can sign up right away without paying, without any credit card, because we have some free courses that you can start right away. So once you sign up, you just have to fill a form. You can also sign up using your social media accounts or you can create a new, new account if you like. So once you sign up, then you can sign into the website. And once you sign in, I'm going to show you a screen which comes when you sign in because I already signed in here. So this is your sign in screen where you'll see your name and all the courses that you have joined, how many hours you have spent, how many posts you made, how many certificates you got and your message. What is this all this? Our e-learning platform is also kind of a community. So you can interact with other students. That's why you see here messages, posts, and then you can see which certificates you have, you have earned already. So here, if you see, these are the courses. When you join a course, you will see in my courses, which courses you have joined. It could be free, it could be paid, doesn't matter. You will see all the courses in my courses. So for example, here you see no dread made easy. This is the course I enrolled or this is the course the user enrolled. And once you click on continue, I will open that in a new page. And then there you will see the course no dread made easy. And then once you click on continue again, then you go inside the course page where you will see all the lectures. So let me just go onto the top. This is my section one and I can start any video that I like from the left side. It depends if the instructor allows you to watch any videos, you can watch any videos of your choice. Otherwise you will see that you have to cover some lectures and then you can go to the next lectures. Okay, this is based on how instructor allow you that. And then you have this, this video use my and this is the introduction video of no Red made easy. And then you will see a subtitles which are in English. So if you don't understand my accent, you can also always, <laughs> you have an option to activate your captions. And then in the settings, you can see which, which quality of video you want to see. And you can also go to full screen and watch the video in full screen along with the captions. So this is about how easy it is you can watch the videos. And on the left side, you can see learners. So you can see which other learners are also enrolled in this course. I would really appreciate if you haven't done that yet, please put your photo because it would be nice to see more people. I know it's uh, many people are lazy to do that, but please do that. <laughs> Anyways, so after the learners, you will see a discussion panel where you will see uh, if somebody posted a comment. And if you have a doubt as well, you can already put here a new comment. So you can just type your queries or type your questions and I will be happy to get back to answer you this question. And this discussion panel is for each lecture. So let's say if I go to this lecture and go to discuss panel, you will see a different discussion on individual lecture. So each lecture has a discussion panel linked to that lecture. That's how you can post your queries. Most of the time, if you have any doubts, let's say I open this lecture using link in a link out, I can put a discussion, go to discussion. Hey, can you please explain more? And then you can share it. And this is the message now I will get and I will go back and check what you posted and I will reply. So this is a discussion panel. This is a kind of a tiny support you get from the instructor. And once you complete your whole path, you can go to the end and print your certificate. So here you will be asked to write your name because I already did that. So you will be asked to put your name and then you can cl click print certificate and then your certificate will be printed and then you can access that. So this is the certificate you get. You get the date, the certificate ID, link, and the signature of the instructor. All right, so this was the walkthrough of learning experience. Besides learning experience, we have exclusive Wiki that you can find in the apps. So you can click on Wiki and then you will see your Wikipedia is open. This is exclusively for the students, Code and Compile Wiki. And here you will find a lot of resources. For example, recently I 
created some PLC programming exercise for Micro 850 PLC from Alan Bradley. And this you can find here. So you can, you can see which topic interests you the most. And then you can dig inside and here you will see a lot of exercise which I created for, for the PLC programming. So you can practice solving these exercises in your favorite PLC programming software. And if you don't know where to find solution, the solution is given in the course. So here you can see that the solution in letter logic, FBD and structure text are available in the course Micro 850 PLC. So the solutions are always in the code and compile course. It's not public, but the questions are public. All right, this is just one example. Similarly, if you go to Siemens VLC and go to Siemens S1200 Basic, go to the course presentation and here you will find all the course presentation that I'm using in the course. So if I click on this one, you will see this presentation will open and then you can use it as a reference for yourself. All right. So this was this was the learning experience that Code and Compile offers. Let's see what, what more we have. If you go to news, then you will see all the daily updates that I'm putting to share with my students. For example, a new video is coming on Control X Core and some feedback from the student and I'm welcoming my team. And here you can see some free course update, which I did in the last weeks and some new devices that I'm working on. I'm always sharing that some digital twin update, some update from Bosch Textrot. I did a project recently and some new videos on Control X Core. So all the updates, if you want, you can have this from the news column here. Interesting part of community. In the community, you have access to all the posts. And here, for example, this is the, this is the post which I just did during the video. You can see that here two minutes ago and I can comment that and reply to that, all right? And if this is the post from another guy sharing the solutions and you know here in this community we are sharing the solutions or problems and we are helping each other. So this is a part of community in Code and Compile as well. And you can you can filter out the question based on which course has been uh, in which course the, the post has been published. For example, I go to S7 1200, you can see the questions here. All right. This was in your apps. What else you can find? Webinars. So I'm doing regular webinars to share new technology with my students. So I was doing recently a webinar with Simomatic because I work as a content creator and social media manager in Simomatic. So I'm creating a lot of content on digital twin technology. And we are showing how you can do virtual commissioning of PLCs. So if you click on this webinar, this is actually on YouTube. And here we will see how we are talking yeah, and showing the new technology. This is one of the example of tank level control using the PLC. And a lot of new updates are available on our website. And these new webinars are coming every month. So you have access to that. And this you will find in webinars. And if you want to write a feedback, which I highly recommend, please write your feedback on our website. I will be happy to post that in our Instagram. And here you will find the feedback which people are posting. All right. And then in the end, very important part, support. This support is the instructor support. And if you come across any problem which in which you want my private attention, I offer limited instructor support. I offer teamware support in which I will go inside your computer and check where the problem is and I will try to solve it. All right, so in this case, you can book a technical support with the instructor. You can check the date and available time and then you can book it right away. So this support is free as of now, but it's limited. I allow students to have at least one or two one-on-one -on -one session with me. And if you need more session, of course, there are several terms and conditions for that. Okay, so this was the part which I wanted to highlight, the experience. And if you go to your me column here, you have an inbox where you can send or receive messages. So you can talk to other instructors and you can send or receive messages. And once you get the certificate, you also get a message as well. And then if you go to your profile on the top right, you can see your profile. So you can see about yourself, you can fill your social media link. So if somebody is following you, he can connect you in social media as well. So for example, the achievements which I had in this profile, I had all the certificates which are linked in my website. I'm an active member, I'm commenting a lot. So you can see your status, how, are, how you're doing and all the courses that you enrolled and your network. All right, so this comes in your about me section. And if you click on activity, you can see all your activities, how many comments you did, how many replies you get, everything you have in the same website. So this is about the learning experience you get in Code and Compile once you join in. And besides that, this is not it. We also have a private group on Facebook and Telegram, which you will get the access once you join the school. And in this private group, I can show you a little bit glimpse of that. Let me see where I have this tab open. 
here you go. This is our code and compile private group where I'm posting a lot of new content and here people are posting questions and I'm trying my best to answer that. So you can, if you're more active on Facebook and not in Zool community, you can also write in the Facebook. We have a group of about 6,000 members here and it's growing every day. And we are trying to help each other, finding solutions and answering queries and sometimes sharing projects, sometimes sharing requirement. So it's a good platform for you to interact with others. This is just the Facebook, and if you want interaction in your mobile app, then we are also very active in Telegram group, where you'll find different topics like Delta PLC, Siemens PLC, Just Chit Chat, SCADA, Node-RED, and News and Update, Course Updates, MQTT, so different topics, and we are talking to each other, finding, trying to find solution like a community. So it's like a family of uh, code and compile members. All right. Okay, this was great, and let's see what else do we have. In our coding compile learning experience, last but not the least, instructor support. As I told you, you can book a meeting with me. I'm also trying a lot to solve your queries by email or by commenting in your questions. If nothing works, I'm always ready to jump inside in the meeting and talk to you one-on-one -on -one and give you support. This is all inclusive in the school price. All right, last but not the least, we also have a lot of updates coming on YouTube. I'm doing very actively new videos. I'm testing new products and new technology and bringing that to you. My next video is coming on alarm management system, which, which is going to be very interesting. And I'm working on that with Control X Core and Siemens PLC and Node-RED all bringing that together with this new alarm management system. And you will find a lot of updates in our LinkedIn page. If you are if you are on LinkedIn, you can connect to me and uh, you can see I'm posting almost two or three times a week about new technologies, new software, new platform that I'm trying and which I think it's good for you. Most of them are having a free trials or 30 days trial or they are open source. So you can be fully aware of new technologies which are coming and I'm posting a lot along with some webinars. So this was it. I hope I uh, explained very well what kind of experience you're going to have in Cone Compile. And this helped you to make your decision better if you want to buy the course or not. And in case if I didn't answer your questions, feel free to write me an email or ping me on LinkedIn. I would be happy to connect to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the course. Bye-bye.